how messed up is the code in this game that it takes two weeks to put out a patch that improves three things? All right, guys, as always, we will go through the notes and then I will give you my thoughts at the end uh, up for discussion today. Uh, you got your, your sort of anti-duplication improvements, uh, patch news and notes for the next patch and the ongoing list of current track issues. OK, so the anti-duplication improvements. It's now been a while since we implemented our changes to the legendary drop rate system and we are able to see on a global analytics level the beneficial impacts these changes have made. Analytics, analytics have also indicated that the anti-duplication system is working well across the global population. As mentioned previously, it does not guarantee that you'll get a unique item with every drop, but it does appear to significantly reducing the time until players receive new uh, uniques. There is one outstanding question that we wanted to get everyone's thoughts on the system currently re-rolls a drop legendary item once if it identifies that you already have set item on your character in your inventory stash um, this system however can make it a bit harder to farm for an improved version of a particular item if you are specifically relying on that item for farming i.e if you've got a death shield equipped and you want to get a better roll death shield um you can't because you've got it equipped so that's the example they've given a uh, proposal for an improvement to the system the anti-duplication system ignores any gear you currently have equipped when checking whether you're currently whether you currently own an item pros this would make it easier to farm for improved versions of your current equipped gear cons the hunt for unique items could become a little longer again as your currently equipped equipped gear wouldn't trigger the anti-duplication system eight items would be added to the do not re-roll pool let's discuss that guys before we go any further so personally i think um man you just you just got this anti-duplication system in and you're already want to mess with it um i think the nature of this game right is to streamline streamline a build streamline a build so that it works the best but i think what needs to happen is people need to be playing this game in a way where they are trying different builds all the time on different characters not playing the same way on every single character like like the gun bills basically where one there's one viable way to play the gun bills on each character if you switch it up and play a couple of characters it gives you a better chance of getting all the weapons that's that's all i i say switch it up switch it up don't don't 100 hour 200 300 hour uh, the same build which you can do it's your right you purchase the game go for it do whatever you want to do but the cons of adding eight more items to the do not reroll pool. Um, for those that have everything, it would be a pain in the ass. For those that don't, it wouldn't it wouldn't mean shit. It wouldn't mean shit. So personally, I don't have everything. I don't even have anywhere close to everything. So I'm I'm either for implementing a change that allows me to re-roll a better version, get a god roll of my current elite equipped weapon, because I obviously like it um but i'm ambivalent towards this i don't care either way okay so patch news and notes for the next patch our latest patch unfor unfortunately isn't quite ready for release today as we're continuing to test it but we are aiming to release it early next week ideally tuesday so ideally on tuesday there should be a patch um outriders are notoriously you know People can fly and Outriders are notoriously slow at getting out their patches. It, at this point, I don't... It, like, it's been two, what, two, three weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks since the last one? Comment down below. How long has it been since the last one and how long does it take to do a patch? Because these guys take far too long as far as I'm concerned. For the amount of things they actually implement in each patch, the, lo the last big one was amazing but it wasn't a lot of things like they increased the drop rate that was a big one for everybody right how messed up is the code in this game that it takes two weeks to put out a patch that improves three things that's all i'm saying um 
here's what you can look forward to as part of this upcoming patch uh, improved and faster xbox signing in process improved matchmaking to reduce the chance of matchmaking with an afk player improved the visibility of brood mother's surge aoe attack uh, fixed a bug whereby scrap grenades would stop working after a cinematic or when joining a session resolved an issue with technomancer's borealis set and changed its description to match its new behavior fixed a bug that could cause trickster's hunter prey to get stuck on activating fixed a bug where bleed status from the armor mod bloody crush would not be inflicted on enemies hit with the gravity leap skill fixed a bug where devastator's blood donation class node won't, wouldn't work if the player didn't have any other skill life leech nodes or mods clarified the description for the ravenous locust mod fix a bug whereby dismantling an item might not have displayed the mod preview fix an issue that would cause the in sync accolade to not properly unlock for client players fix an issue that could cause players to not get the proper reward if they completed an expedition during the final second of the reward tier other bug crash fixes uh there's a uh this patch will also include the below tweak which can be considered a small rebalance please note that this is just a small tweak that required code work and was already already ready to be rolled into this patch our next patch after this one is intended to have more buffs for all classes so the rebalance changed the pyromancer's healthy lifestyle mod and changed its description to match its new behavior then change should improve survivability while channeling the skill the new description is phaser beam boosts your health generation for the skill duration old the old description was phaser beam boosts your health generation by x for y after the skill ends now ongoing list of tracked issues you guys can check that out i'll leave that up there uh it's a few things that have been going on for a while um i'll put a link in the bio go check that out um how do i feel yeah not if it's not a major change like just something like the mini map or the loading screens or the loading screens and expeditions in particular like just something the community wants just put it in a patch because patching broken things over and over and over again and a lot of these things have been said to be patched previously but obviously have not been patched like improved and faster xbox signing process improved matchmaking right that sort of stuff has been ongoing okay just keep just do that in the back i don't want to know just do that in background fix it right um and patches should i know they're meant to fix existing issues but in a game like this, I feel like it should improve certain aspects of the game as well. Like honestly, how messed up is the code in this game that you can't do that like that? Like a week. Let's let's do it. Let's let's just modify the minimap slightly so it shows what's actually in the area. You know? A compass maybe. Yeah, look, this this dev news got me ambivalent. Besides the anti-duplication improvements. Uh, even those i'm ambivalent this patch notes makes me ambivalent comment down below let me know what you guys think um, as always make sure you drop a sub on the channel to stay up to date with the uh, outriders content and uh we'll keep it rolling guys we'll keep it rolling thanks for helping us hit 240 subs on youtube i appreciate every single one of you that tune in and are here till the end so i will see you next time Peace.